Hello, chat. I am back. I know I didn't stream on Saturday, Thursday, but I just didn't feel like it. So here we are now. Uh, what the fuck? Podcast editor tool. No, I'm not making a podcast right now. Um. Anyway, how are y'all doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, hello, it's Losty. More with the fuck. What is average AVG flex emote? <clears throat> I see. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be doing tier list, and then we're gonna look do something that I usually don't do. I'm not very into doing too many reaction streams, cause I most of the time don't really have anything to add to it. I can make it really all that transformative. I feel like, I don't know even if this is a case of me being able to do that, but I thought this was fun and I wanted to do it on stream, uh, which I'll <clears throat> I'll show you soon-ish after, after this. So today, we have Happy Joe's Extra Dry Pear Cider. Never tasted a pear cider, so no idea how this will taste like. Um, so, here we go. Just, if I can open this first. It does certainly taste interesting. Hmm. I don't know what it means that it's extra dry compared to, you know, a sweet cider, but it's actually quite good. It's been a while since, well, since I've even consumed anything pear related. So yeah. Yep, it, it, it's interesting. I would put it actually in A tier. I like it. <clears throat> I do like it quite a lot. Anyway, since that is now done. Jesus Christ, this is absolutely horrendous. Um, I think that's fine. Chat, is, is this fine? I think it, I believe it does now <coughs> do all of the video borders and stuff. Uh, but if this does look fine, I'll just put this into zero, zero. <coughs> so. Astral Spiff, a person I've been following for a while, did a... Apparently, at some point, did a YouTuber, well, NAF quiz, quiz, which um, kind of interested me, and I have been following FNAF for a good while now. Um, and when I say a good while, I mean a good while, about since FNAF 3's release? Or even earlier, I don't know. Probably actually around FNAF 1's release, but... Um, <clears throat> basically, I've been following it ever since, kind of on and off. Um, kind of had a resurgence with it since... With it uh, nowadays, but I been following it for a good while, and I know the games quite well, I would say. Uh, 
The only thing I don't might not really know all that well, or my only games would probably be Security Breach and you know Help Wanted and actually the fucking AR game <clears throat> that I haven't even touched that one. But yeah, um, this is an hour long video, so this might take an into in the entire stream, but. What can I say? Chat, you can tell me if the volume is good or not. I'll be pausing this a lot, probably. Anyway, here we go. I made a high-quality, comprehensive 50-question FNAF quiz and got four of the biggest FNAF YouTubers to take it and compete against each other. Whoever gets the most questions right will have any single worldly wish granted to them by me. The questions were made up from every Scott made FNAF game, covering mostly trivia, character recognition, and game mechanics. The hardest part was balancing their difficulty, knowing- Up the audio a bit, please. Okay. Uh, is that good? My quiz and how differently they've looked at the games. FNAF focuses on theories, and that has him looking into the games in great detail, but not necessarily mechanically. Tetrabit hasn't even played them all, but for the ones he has, he understands- You're still up it. Okay, I'll do it. From here. With 73. Has them in great detail and knows many of the more obscure <coughs> facts about them. Then, while Daco and 8-Bit Ryan's content is fairly similar in what they do, Daco has played some of the games to a higher level and also replayed them occasionally during his charity streams. So with that knowledge, I tried to cover equal topics that each one would know about and let them at it. So which of these four knows the most? The way it will work is after I show Me. each question, no, I'll show how each of them... Probably not, actually. I... To be honest, I don't know. I can't really base my FNAF knowledge against anyone, really. So... I don't actually know how much I know about the games. Of them answered it, then tell you the answer. They won't know until the end. I'd encourage you to try and figure it out alongside them. And if you need more time, pause when the screen goes black because that's when I'll give the answer. At the halfway point, I'll check in and review how everyone's doing. But I could if actually... If I might, I might be able to do something... Um, I don't know if I can, uh, how I can maybe keep up score, like, easily. Text, text transform. Opacity alignment. Can I, if I wanted to create another source. Uh... Those are widgets that I can't really do much with. I could maybe... <clears throat> maybe I could do like a text thing. Uh, or perhaps... I'll try and keep up score on my end. Actually, can I... I have a life split somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> it requires that I find it here. Uh, okay, that's a life split. But that's not the extracted version of life split. Uh, can 
I try just extracting this? If we do that real quick, I think it would... Because I think I can make a live split thing with a counter on it. To show how many points I've gotten up until this that point. Yes. And actually, I can... Uh, sure, update it. Okay, we can add that like over there. And then I can... Settings... Actually, I don't know how well this will actually work. Oh my fucking... Uh... Anyway. Uh, actually, maybe I should not... Maybe I should not do that now. Well, I'll keep score on my end. Until then, welcome our contestants. Welcome to Splakes, please. State your name. John. Or FNAF. Jo John. So, I'm hoping there's a fruit punch up for everyone. <laughs> just so you know. I guess this uh, is an automatic I two points. I haven't revised or anything, so like, this is all just like an exam where you haven't revised for it, you know what I mean? Each question is worth two points, half points, blah, blah, blah. Or some questions, 100 points total. Okay, so state my name. I didn't realize that was the first question. Oh no, 100 points. Oh, okay, so I get t I get two for just staying my name. That's great. Yeah. Okay, I've answered that one officially. <laughs> How many fingers does Fredward? How many fingers? So, uh, Freddy, ha I I've seen up until up until this point, yeah. or you know, <laughs> he has four. Freddy has only four in fingers per hand. I guess. However, this w question is worded worded. You could take it as how many fingers. Bro has like total, which would be eight, I believe. <laughs> There's about yes. 20 Freddy's. The original. The original Freddy has four. Yeah, I agree with the Freddy plushie. It's, <laughs> it's over. It's over, buddy. It's over for me. I mean, this could be this could be a trick question, though, right? Uh, oh, I'm, you I'm poor thing. D, even though, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, let me try, was that good? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> also, but I will be trying to do this from the top of my memory. All of these questions, I will not be looking anything up. Well, if actually that would be cheating. So yeah. Oh. Are you asking how many fingers does Freddy have on both hands or one <laughs> hand? Darko, I'm not trying to mess with you. How many fingers does he have? Per hand. It's four. It's not a trick question, right? It's not like four fingers and a no. thumb. Okay. These okay, are okay. very direct questions. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with four. Yeah, the answer is four. I mean, on the previous page. I would. I go up to four points. Yeah, bro has only four fingers. I don't know if that's increased at any point. Like, if Nightmare Freddy has, like, five fingers, or <clears throat> any of the other iterations of Freddy, actually, they might have more fingers, the later iterations of Freddy, but OG Freddy only has four. Actually, I believe all but Foxy of all the, like, original FNAF animatronics has four. Foxy, I believe, only has three. Plus one hook. Is so that much I do know. Freddy, which had four fingers. I probably should have made it clearer to Ryan that these were not trick questions. Which game is this screenshot from? <laughs> which game? Oh no. Which game is this screenshot from? Actually, is that... Is that FNAF World? How many games actually? <clears throat> actually, is 
Four World only the the only game to have a victory screen, or is it like? Because I believe. Sister Location has si shift ended screens, so does Pizza Sim. UZN has a different background to it. Uh, Help Wanted doesn't have this sort of screen. Yeah, it's World. It's FNAF World. 1 to 4, it doesn't even have a victory screen. It's just the clock and then next night or fate to black and whatever ending you got. Victory. That has to be. Oh, victory. That fe that feels like it's a FNAF world, right? This location, is that the baby mini game? Did the baby mini game ha that it's too high res to be a baby mini game thing. Uh to be fair. Which he does bring up a good question though. Or it could be FNAF world, victory when you beat a when you finish a battle, which makes the most sense to me. Oh no. I mean immediately my brain goes to FNAF World. It might be Ultimate Custom Night. I it looks like a world. I'm gonna go with World. Okay. No, it's 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 world because I know Ultimate Custom Night doesn't have a background. It's it's a black background with the text. Pretty much, yeah. So I'm gonna say world. I'm gonna say world. I'll say world. I'll say world. Okay, these people are quest guessing. World. From every time. No, oh, all guessed pretty well there. It is world. Time you win a battle, and it comes in many colors. How'd you get blacklisted? You. Uh, oh, wait, blacklisted. Blacklisted is the one where you get 50... <laughs> I should know this. I, I've i played Pizza Sim way too much. Um, blacklisted is 50 risk. Get sued 10 times is not an ending. Every markdown or shop item um, doesn't even have an ending or deny every salvage opportunity just brings if you don't have the qualifications for any other ending it just brings a game over screen or like the game over sequence so it's 50 risk oh my god you know the only reason i i know about this ending was because i watched you do like the marathon of all of them oh yeah to be blacklisted is you're doing something bad but getting sued 10 times is bad getting 50 risk is also Holy really shit, bad Ryan, yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. Shit. it's not risk because Risk causes causes lawsuits, so I, I would mm -hmm. assume it's lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing! I haven't gotten all the endings. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I have seen the blacklist. I, I remember seeing Markiplier get it forever ago. I think it's you deny everything, so I'm gonna go with that. Doc, Doco, you. I. I didn't think Darko would be the one to get this question wrong. Uh, or I might be wrong, but like... Because you didn't, you didn't listen to Henry, so you... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go with that. No. no. Since it has... The funny thing is... You... It won, when in, Henry tells you, like, you've done... You don't goof when you don't take, like, the salvage opportunities, you don't get a certificate from it. <clears throat> I would say get sued. I think it's get sued. Oh, I, mm, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, it's got, getting there, there is no ending to getting sued 10 times. There is an ending to be um, just losing or like getting bankrupt. Even that's the bankruptcy I'm ending. Go getting sued 10 times. This is probably why this video of mine has done so well. Nobody knew how to get this ending even years after the game came out. And it looks like our four contestants haven't watched the cloud video either. Holy shit, I got ahead. We're at eight points. <clears throat> you only need 50 risk to get blacklisted. Animatronics and lawsuits don't matter. In FNAF 1, what combination of keys can be pressed to skip a night? Uh, you know, it was just... I was just looking at this. Like, Ctrl Alt Plus is probably a whole nother thing. Ctrl C Plus is not it either. Ctrl D Plus is also not it. I think it's CD Plus. If I remember, this is the one thing I might not know about this, but I believe it's CD+. Plus. CD+. Plus. That's a thing? Okay. Yeah, uh, is there handy? You're going to learn some tips here. <laughs> um, nowadays, I don't know if you, well, if you want to get a specific night, but, like, you don't need this in speedrunning, because I believe the specific 
speedrun categories for the games themselves uh, do not allow you to use CD+. Plus. And I believe that caused a whole lot of like tight for first place times. So they didn't allow it. Um, you are still able to... You're not allowed to skip the endings, but you can still uh, skip the loading screens by pressing F4, I believe, or was it Alt F4, uh, which does, which is a funny thing, because you can press Alt F4 and it will skip the loading screen, but if you mistime it at any moment, you just close the game. <laughs> this is how A bit of NAF trivia point. for you. Oh no, I don't, I don't know these. C, D, no, C, D plus. If it's not, I'm sorry. Let's go control D plus. I feel like control C is too close to copying and pasting. I feel like it's going to be a weird combination. No control. I feel like C, D plus. That's just weird. Yeah, it is pretty weird. It is a weird combination of keys, but it is C, D plus. I was correct. I am at 10 points now. Specifically the plus on the numpad. Weird to have a command that doesn't require- What if you don't have a numpad? What plus is it then? Because it's pretty pop popular for people to have like 60% of keyboards, I believe it's called. Or, you know. I have a numpad on mine because I specifically wanted a numpad for mine. But like, yeah. Control. How many characters can you collect in FNAF World? We got pay Oh fuck. This includes Halloween characters. <clears throat> it's eight per row. And Halloween characters take one row. Um, It's either 64 or 56. I don't think because I I remember I remember watching Spiff play the on actually on stream to play the challenge where he bro had to remove like all of the the character per battle thing and that had over 50 characters in it it could be 48 wait I might be wrong that's the problem, I might be wrong, it's 48 or 56, I believe. 72 is way too many. How many How many rows are there, like... Characters in the game? 48 or 56, 64 is also going, like, on the edge... ...of where, whether or not... Actually, no, it isn't. I'm gonna... Go with 64, because it's 8 per row, and there's probably around 8-ish rows of characters, including Halloween characters. Paper plate, extra, we got coffee machines. I'm gonna go 56. Alright, I might regret that one. Oh, screw I might be you. wrong, but I'm going Halloween with 64. Characters? That square. Oh my god. The Halloween um, old characters only adds one layer, like one row on the bottom. Oh, okay. So Let me think, or I should know this. It's 8 by... Either six or seven, or is it eight? There's the row with Nightmare Run and Scott. One, two. I might be completely wrong, by the way. Four, I have no five, fucking memory six, on how many it actually how much time is. Do I have to think. Um, as much as you want. Okay. I'm gonna say 48. I feel like it would be the lowest, right. but I don't know. Do you want to no, it? I don't think it is. <clears throat> I'm gonna say 48. I'm gonna go 48. What's with the people that your then? Final answer, no, because usually like <laughs> C C is usually the right answer. Um that is not accurate at all. <laughs> fucking that's that's such a fucking accurate fucking emote for that. Like holy shit. But Okay. What am I doing? I I, I can just count the characters. FNAF oh. one, four, FNAF two, FNAF three. I'm saying forty eight. Sorry. Right. Sorry that took so long. Oh. That's fine. This one's tough. It's one that even I probably wouldn't have gotten if I didn't look it up for the quiz. They're rows of eight, and I know that. Bro, it's... it was 48. 
There are only six of them? Okay, yeah, no, that, that's right, okay. Is it or me? Is fucking Chica's eyes just kind of popping out? Like the eyes are about to fall out of his sockets. There's six rows, so <clears throat> 48 characters. No, name or describe two secret characters in UCN, so this is... Name or describe two secret characters in UCN. Um, plush Trap. And Bonnet. Or the f pink little fucker that goes across your screen. I believe that was one of the secret names. And there's Plush Trap, which is in um, the same room with Funtime Foxy that you have to go look at. Another is... I can name more. Another is Jacko Chica. No, wait. Or is it Jacko Bunny? The one where the jaws fucking come down. Um, the mini arenas. There were, I believe, seven of them. So the, that, that, that. Um, the fucking XQC. Or the dark bunny. Uh, and were there any other secret ones? I believe there was. At least, like, probably two more. I can't bring any more to mind, but those are the ones that I came up with, so I believe. XOR, I think it is. Zor. And another secret character. I don't include uh, XOR like plush trap and or, stuff. The, or the pink oh. one. I include the ones that they bring in. Oh, so Zor... Oh, you, oh so th you, you're not... This isn't included, this 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 one. Yeah, yeah, no, XOR is not included in the six. Do you, oh, you mean the additional characters? So, like, Nightmare Chica with the jaws, and then, like... I mean, yeah, the uh, one... Oh, it was Nightmare Chica, huh? Okay, well... The jaws. What's the fucking sixth one? If there's only six, what's... I know I'm having so much trouble with this, but holy shit, why can't I remember it? Oh, well. Uh, push the ones that aren't on the menu. XOR is not a secret character. XOR spawns the secret characters. It's XOR, by the way. Okay, um, <laughs> okay you make a quiz then. Oh, you're right. Um, JJ and... JJ is not... One of the characters that it adds in, JJ is a normal character, it, I believe, it disables your door controls, if I remember correctly. And Balloon Boy is the one that disables your, uh, flashlight. Shadow Bonnie? No. Would you know this? Like, if Dude, you... I know all six, I mean, I beat 50-20. There's six could... of them? I, yeah. <laughs> I could name all six, like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, fucking! I can't remember the sixth. Remember the sixth one? What the fuck was uh, the sixth what one? Is, is that? So, do you remember the pink character that added characters in UCN? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, JJ, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. not JJ, but yeah. Um, oh, people have got. I'm, I'm done. I'm done in the comments. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm thinking of like the, yeah, the, the broom and stuff, but that's act. That's a normal or the, the closet supply characters, whatever <laughs> their name is. Ration uh, gang. Yeah. I must say there's like a pig one. Uh, pig. There's half points available, so you know. Okay. Shadow Freddy. Sure. <laughs> you were so close with that one with the shadow part. Um, otherwise, the animatronic is absolutely fucking wrong. Let's go with that. Shadow Bonnie? No, I've got brain rot. I think I, I'm just going to put Shadow Freddy. I mean, surely he's going to be Shadow Freddy is not in it. Because I know JJ is in the game, but Shadow Bonnie, I would say, is in the game as well. I'm a Chica and Plush Trap. So these are six characters. Oh, that yeah, no, it's. Don't show up on the list of 50 and aren't DD or X1. Neither of these characters show up on the list of 50. Then right. you have your two. Right. Next. It's definitely hard to remember which are the secret characters if you never beat 50 20. So it's no surprise that Daco is the only one who got the yeah. full two points. They are Nightmare Chica, Shadow Bonnie, Bonnie Plush Trap, Cap. Min Arenas, Bonnet, and Lolbit. Oh, right. Lolbit was one of the six. Lolbit's 
no wonder I don't remember all of it. It's such a non-character in all of these. Like in I I've beat sister locations, uh, ten fifth. 10, 20 mode, and in that it's such a non character, you just press lol and it's done. Four playable characters. But I am now up to 12 points. Uh, in Fury Rachel's protein shake while doing that. Is that. Monty? This is one of the games I have not ever touched or really watched. Characters in Fury's Rage yells, Protein Shake. Well, that's easy. I can get that one. That's, nice. Mon that's Montgomery. Uh, Monty. Yeah, it's Monty. I guess Monty. I'd, <laughs> I'd pick Monty out of everybody. This has to be Monty. I feel like Monty is going to yell that. Freddy is, Freddy's worked out too. You know? Mm -hmm. that's, I'm going to go Monty. Okay. Quick fire with that one. Buff Gator. Protein Shake. Yep. We're at 14 points now. Shake. Yes. Which has a bigger circle area? Which has a circle uh, press key? Yeah. One of them ha has a bigger C Am I allowed to... Am I allowed to scroll back the video to look at... Because... One of the mistakes probably Spiff made here is that you showed both, I believe, the clowns. But since... I, I, and this is a total fucking guess. Since Biff already always does the fruit punch one, I believe that would have the uh, smaller circle. I would guess. Which has a bigger. I just wanna check real quick. Circle area. Okay. What of a. Yeah, it's the lemonade one. Circle area? Which has the biggest. Ah! Hey, it's I the know, lemonade. It's just the bigger circle. It's lemonade day for everyone. Cause I remember. Yeah. Hey, eh? see. And I would have just guessed this based on fucking Spiff's playthroughs, since he always does a fruit punch, which wouldn't probably be a good thing to guess on. But since Twitch chat wants to see people in uh, as much pain as they want, fruit punch is the logical Thank answer. You. Yeah. I'm gonna say fruit punch has the bigger circle area. I've seen you play the one where it's like fruit punch for everyone. Wow, you said so, that really well. I know it's weird. I was actually the voice actor. Fruit punch for oh, yeah. everyone. I actually wasn't. Scott, hire me, please. Full disclosure, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna go with fruit punch because you should right. lemonade. Fruit punch one, I feel like that would be harder because you get more points for it. So I'm gonna say Do lemonade you? has the bigger circle. Ryan described it perfectly. Fruit punch gives more points. Yep, it was lemonade. We're up to 16 points. points. Would it be funny if I got more points than all of these people combined? Well, not combined, that's impossible. These people are already answered pretty well. If I've gotten more points than all of these people, and then I'm here like... Hmm. Yes. So lemonade has a more lenient circle. Which character lemonade is a has... good vendor in FNAF? Which character is a good vendor? World. Balloon Boy Enter Lullabit Puppet. Isn't it legit Lullabit? Is a is a good swender. I would have guessed Balloon Boy, but a Balloon Boy is, I believe, it might be one of the playable characters. It might be an enemy, but I believe Lullabit is a good swender in FNAF World. Is that's all I have to say about that. Lullabit. It's not Enter. <laughs> It's not Balloon Boy, it's, it's Lulbit, for sure. Oh, you mean, okay, you like the items, yeah, so it's Lulbit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lulbit, right? I'm Okay, that, that's a quick one, that's a quick one. I feel like that's Bingo. something. I'm shocked how quickly they all got it. I mean, all of them struggled a lot harder on the victory screen that you see constantly in game. But yeah, as soon it was as they have bit. to remember a random shopkeeper they saw once, it's like, oh yeah, no problem. Which game is the screenshot? Which game is this screenshot from? Shot from. <laughs> oh no, you have to. Okay. Uh. Ah. Uh. I don't know the 3D games too well. What the fuck is this? 
I don't think, based on the ground and stuff, I don't think this is base help wanted. Uh, would you see that in security breach? Also rendering here, although that's a screenshot from someone's stream, so I can't really say much. Does Glamrock Freddy have a top hat? Because I believe this is either security breach or... No, 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 no. This is ruined DLC. What, what's there right in front of Freddy is a, I believe, a spray paint can and the ground's really dirty and uh, it resembles the floor from security breach. It's ruined DLC. Wait. <laughs> what? So surely you know this answer then. Okay, see the spring. Also, he and does have a top hat. I see a lot of dithering. Well, that's Glamrock Freddy, so so I can see the blue nails. It's either security breach or ruin. Um, These people struggle a lot less than me. Can Holy shit. Something isn't great. I'm going to try ruin. I'll try ruin DLC. Let's see what that one thinks. What the heck is that thing in front of him? Is that a cactus? What is that? <laughs> is it a drink? I got to say ruin. I don't know. It looks really bright, though, so I'm doubting myself. I mean, that looks like a graffiti can, so I'd say it's ruin, but because of the graffiti everywhere, that's the only assumption I've got. So We've only got 12 minutes, got minutes and the stream has been going for 40 minutes. Can. That's literally <laughs> it, even though there could be one in security breach, I don't know. I'm just going to go with ruin. I'm not overthinking it. I don't I hope, I hope you're not. I hope you're not. Security breach, so I want to say it's either help on it or dreadbear. I'm going to go with dreadbear. I actually thought the lighting in this one would give it away because it's the entrance to ruin and in Yep, I was correct. We're at 20 points now. In my head, that's the only game with such an intense orange glow. But instead, the spray can ended up being the biggest giveaway. What does Rockstar Foxy tell you before killing Oh my Ew. god. We bird. bird doesn't like guys not at you win it's it's you win, you win some, you lose some. Me bird likes you, so I'll do ye a favor. Yar. Me bird likes you, so I'll do ye a favor. Bird likes anyway. <laughs> Big bird uh, before killing you in Ultimate Cosmic. Um, yeah. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Uh, <laughs> I thought he just says R. Yes, he says R before. How many have I only missed? I think it's your one question. I've only answered one question wrong thus far. Uh, that makes me no kind of scared. I'm not mistaken. I probably am. Oh my gosh, man! It's like uh, it's it's things that you hear so many times you grow accustomed to and don't think about it when you hear it. You know? Yeah. yeah. And I, I tried I... to make all of these sound like he could be saying them. Yeah, I'm 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 reading it and I'm hearing it in the voice too. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like he's gonna blame the bird for this one. Me bird doesn't like ya. You win some, lose some. Yeah, it's that one. Aye. Holy shit. Docco confidently went into me bird doesn't like ya because Foxy says me bird likes ya if you're successful. It's yeah. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. We live in a society. Batman, wait, no. <laughs> when you're dead. Which console got a dedicated... Oh, which console got a dedicated... Game uh... patch allowed Twitch integration. Which console? It's Stadia. I fucking know this one, because I remember Spiff telling, saying something about it. It's only Stadia. <laughs> Actually, and I wrote my points wrong. It's 22. Uh, it is Stadia. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Google Stadia. And then the Google Stadia died. Well, no, it wouldn't be Stadia. Yeah. Google. I was going to say what, what, what I found said. Stadia thing, but Stadia would probably wouldn't want a Twitch integration thing. I don't think Switch. Stadia's dead. But maybe they could have they tried to push for that, you know? Yeah, Stadia's dead, but they did that before Stadia's death. And also, 
Uh, Switch got its own, like, security breach version, although um, people have tried it and it's mm, what you'd expect. Maybe PlayStation. I saw a lot of people stream PlayStation, but then that could have been because Xbox was broken, so then they patched it. Well, Xbox just... Like it was, a, it came out as a PS5 exclusive, and it only oh, well, there you go. And Switch later on. I'm gonna say PS5. All right. They messed up a lot at launch. They probably messed up live streaming too. <laughs> if I haven't heard about this, then I'm gonna say it's Stadia. I don't know. I feel like that would. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Stadia. I'm gonna go with PS5 just because Sony stuff. Not only it's did Stadia. the Google Stadia get Twitch integration. 24 points allowed viewers to vote on which in-game paths to take but it got its own patch entirely with stadia exclusive bug fixes then yeah it died probably unrelated how much power does foxy take the first time he bangs on oh my god how much does he take one now that One or six. Eleven is when he bangs the s at least second or third time, and the last one's, I believe, sixteen. Like, bro takes a lot of power once he comes knocking. Um, it's one or six. I'm gonna answer one percent. I'm gonna be really annoyed at myself if I get this one wrong, because I know FNAF 1 probably the best. <laughs> Actually, no, that's a lie. I know Pizzeria seem probably the best. I don't know FNAF 1 best, but I know it quite well. That is one I will not be able to answer. Well, this, 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 this screenshot, by the way, I don't remember this from the game. You this screenshot's fucking funny. There's a fucking, there's a different kid that I love. Who would be the person <laughs> that after we get done with this quiz, all of the answers were like B or something? That would be such a you thing. I don't know. If, I, I can't decide if it's 1% or 6%. That he takes the first time. Like which which fucking is it? Is it? I'm gonna switch my answer. To six percent? That's my that six percent final answer. Dang it, bro. I'm saying one. The first time he bangs. <laughs> first Oof. time he bangs. Ass? Um <laughs> <laughs> I would say 11. He'd take some. I would have picked 11%, people watching, but I'm, I'm going to go with the safe route and pick the lower option, mainly because it seems more logical that it would take less power when he first bangs and then six is my final. gets worse. I'll go six. I have a memory from years ago of Foxy taking like 15%, but I guess that would have been the fourth time he banged, because the first time is 1%. I would have been fucking correct. Okay, I'm dumb. How many speeches does Mr. Hippo have? Oh god, uh... Three. Is it not three? One is for about the birds. One is about you being dead. And third one's something. <laughs> I know, that's descriptive. The, the third one's something. Which, which game is Mr. Hippo even... From. I recently watched all of the Ultimate Custom Night Voice lines in a video. Well, uh, this um, will do it. There's the one about nothing means anything, and then there's, I think there's another one. I'm gonna say two. Let's go with three. Me and UCN don't have a good uh, relationship. Oh, um, the best, uh, UCN. So like the the the, mem the memories of my brain is just delete. It's oh, UCN yeah. out, my, out my life. Yeah, like a bad math class. Yeah, exactly. I'll go with three. Three is the safe, safest option to me. Maybe three. I think the voice actor would have been like angry if Scott wanted more. So I'm going to say three. While Ryan is the most considerate, 
thinking about how the voice actor feels about it, Scott must have made the VC very angry because Mr. Hippo has four stories. What the fuck are they all about? I'm at 25 now. The story is just a story one. What looks like a theorist roast? Uh, oh, but yeah. With Orville and I don't know what the last about you being dead. Oh my god. <laughs> of course, it's the fucking. There's a theorist one. Right. That's one talks about. There's four. What time does Nightmare take Fredbear's place? What time does Nightmare take Fred Plus Play 296? It's 4 a.m. 5 a.m. also my fucking notifications are on. 4 a.m. is... Because I believe it's... It's like... Two, then four. You know, it's like they switch up to Fred Bear on two. Or was it it was night six all Fredbear? No, it wasn't. I don't believe it was. Um If um, I fuck this up, I'm gonna be. I feel like that would be like a last hour thing. Let's go with that. It's definitely not f oh wait, it could be five. And again, me and FNAF four. <laughs> <laughs> not best of friends. Not the best. No. I'm gonna go with my first brain four, go with four AM. Alright. Three AM oh, do they trade places? I would say three. <laughs> that was funny. Funny enough, I've never beaten Night Six. This was a question from chat. I thought it would be 3 a.m. halfway. Oh no. Yeah, it is. 27 points. But uh, it's 4 a.m. Which animatronic is this? Where's the picture? Okay. No, there it is. <laughs> That's right, Which animatronic? Okay, I don't know what on what basis Biff was doing this. Isn't this just Orville? No, not Orville. The hippo. Because the eye is looking like upwards, and you know it's the, it's really purple, and then it's like, uh, yeah, I'm telling you a story now, and it's blue eyes, wet dragon. Okay. Hang on, I'm getting scammed. There is no animatronic. Trick question. And I know this is killer, but you are allowed to go up. Oh, and you can change your runs. Oh no, what? Why? Why? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. Let me just check something real quick. <laughs> uh, no, but it's not up here. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Ooh. I said the same thing to Ryan. <laughs> That's funny, because it's not that far. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell what animatronic this is based on this alone. So this could be Ennard. Um, the <laughs> white is cropped. I would look more at the oh. very edge of what is seeable. Okay, so I have no idea. Hang on, I'm, <laughs> am I allowed to go back a question? Sure. <laughs> I'm going back. Oh! <laughs> and it's the hippo. Wait, what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> Mr. Hippo. I was like, who else is purple? It's not purple guy. Yes. That looks like Mr. Hippos. I'm gonna just... And you can see you did the Photoshop here with the purple. You can still see a little bit of purple. It's intentional. He's got gray eyelids. So I thought like, okay. <laughs> okay. I see now. <laughs> <laughs> I see it, I see it. I think this was a bit mean. I probably shouldn't have cropped it, so I gave them a pretty hefty clue. The tilted eye of Mr. Hippo. Which just the location, I got nerfed. Shortly after release. Like the release of the game or the release of the night because i remember 10 20 mode got wait night four hundred percent oh yeah it's night four or night five actually i'm gonna go with i hated that thing with the like 
The little cranked. I beat that, by the way, before the patch. That's insane. I haven't even tried. Uh... Yeah, it's night four. Um... I was gonna say 10-20 mode, cause that was nerfed at some point. That was night four. Night four. Uh, night four. Yeah. yeah. The only reason I, I had the dedication to beat it was because I needed to get my video out day one. Yeah, it was like, oh, for sure. I, I wasn't established enough then, so it was like true stress, but oh, I remember yeah. that. I think night four is figured out enough now that I can beat the original version in not too many... Tr it's the spring one. Yeah, night four is the spring luck one. <laughs> yeah, I remember trying to beat that. It was fucking nightmarish. I don't understand it. But when it first came out, that night was a demon. And these four remember that. Which of these does Foxy.exe say? Oh, I would know that. When you see how cast listen to my voice and you will find the way, be sure to walk through the heart of madness. It's B, I believe. Listen to my voice and you will find the this way. Girl, they're all correct to yeah, have one word that's switched. You know, they're huh? all correct to... You yeah, have I one know. word that's switched. You know what this is, even? No. <laughs> is this like from VR? <laughs> this one's wrong. <laughs> all right. This makes sense. And that kind of could be switched, like, when you flee, how fast can you see? But that also doesn't make sense. I didn't like, flip words. I only changed Oh, words. that's that why I was... too mean if I just... Man, I, I, I got nothing. I mean, this is what Foxy would say. I'm just going to go A on that one. If FNAF World Update 2 don't have a... <laughs> but like every game that you put on right now, it's just got bad memories. Hey, we'll get to all of them. <laughs> I think it's A. I'm going to go with A. Listen to my voice and you will find the key, he says. Be sure you're- Wait, does he say that? I mean, he ha- Spiff hasn't given an official- Isn't there- Oh yeah, it is the key. I'm switching my answer to A. Your step through the heart of madness. I said, what a god. I know, when you see how fast <laughs> can you flee. This is from World. It's oh, okay. a okay, I'm not secret minigame. Oh, okay. Um, I like that one. It rhymes. I feel like that's probably a thing. Despite all three, besides John, either never having seen this or it having been years ago, they all got it. B is supposed to be oh listen my to God. my voice and you will find the key. Yeah. <laughs> and C 33 is supposed points. to be be sure your step through the heart of madness. How do you make Phantom Foxy go away? Um, well, I know you can get. Twist is now go back in camps before fully looking at it. You can use take the elbow. So, uh, go back into camps before fully looking at it. You can pretty much. The trick with him is you can. Because uh, there's the two cameras, you can kind of partially move yourself towards the. Um, maintenance panel over there and whenever you see even a fucking snippet of this thing you switch back to cams go back and you can just look at the i really mean how wanted we are yeah into your microphone twist his nose go back into cams before fully looking at him you can't just take the elbow so i think you can't i feel like that's one of these like fun facts that if you on your mic it makes him go away can you actually get rid of him can you not get rid of I swear you can't get rid of him. I'm probably gonna get like 20% on this quiz. Uh, let's go with C. No, I'm gonna go with C. I feel like... Uh, I'll go with C. I'm not, I'm not gonna overthink it. Yeah, I feel like I remember if, he, if you drop your monitor, you can see him out of the corner of your eye. I think you have to just get over it. Like, you just gotta take the owl. <laughs> I wanna try it. I don't think there's any phantoms in any games that just have zero outplay potential. But FNAF 3 is such a soup and Phantom Foxy is kind of rare, so you could win without ever learning how to actually stop it. But you can just go back into camps. Which animatronic? Yeah, it was 35. Is, bro, what? Or whatever, which yeah. animatronic is this? Yeah, boy. Music man? <laughs> DJ music man? Oh.
Eight, okay, I fucking figured it out. Valid headphones, <laughs> crossed arms. Hang on, DJ music. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a good yes. one. Yes. So DJ Khaled <laughs> plus uh, oh, it's DJ music man, right? <laughs> Headphones and DJ is giving me hints. I don't know what the last thing's supposed to be. Crossed arms, man. Oh, I see. DJ music, man. I got it. You can figure it out. DJ music, <laughs> man. <Yeah>. Jeez. <laughs> that scared me. I'm like, uh, another one. Uh, headphones. Yeah. Man. I'm almost tempted to make a quiz entirely like this. Yeah, we're at 37 currently. I'm doing, I would say, I think it would be reasonably fun. well. We've but only yeah, missed like two and a half Three. questions. Uh, how many audio lures do you Per reset in FNAF 3 Night 5? You get before needing to reset audio and. Oh no. Okay, um. So, in at least, I don't remember if Nightmare Mode made um, Spring or made the Lures any lesser. I would say three or four. I'm gonna go with three. No. It's three or four, because four is, two is only in Nightmare Mode uh, Night 6 or just Night 6. Uh, the Night 6 one, or just Night 6 one, is kind of messing me up right now. So, there's three or four. I don't remember if Nightmare Mode lessens the amount of lures that you get. I watched a fucking video about someone beating it without... Uh, ...using maintenance. I'm gonna go... ...with... Three, no. I'm gonna go with four. In FNAF 3 on night five. There's a set number? And it changes every night. Now, that, see, I didn't understand the mechanics of FNAF 3 at all. I didn't even know that was the way it worked. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not five, so it's most difficult. So I'm gonna say two or three. Five, I feel like it's probably pretty low. Two. Three. YOLO three. Probably two, though. I'll say two. It has to be two. So I'm going to say, because I would have done it a few times, maybe four. <laughs> I'm going to try four. All right. The number of audio lures goes down every night. Oh, it was three? Okay. Sure. I I guess Nightmare Mode doesn't lessen the amount of lures you have in Night 6. It just makes uh, everything more aggressive. And at Night 5, you have two before needing... Wait, you only have two? Oh. Okay, well done. reset the audio devices. Okay, I kind of messed up uh, with this question by not making it clear which Bonnie I was referring to. Hang on, is... The original Bonnie? I'm gonna say five. I guess this is the point where I fucking break. Uh, it's I uh, wait no. I'm gonna say four. Bonnie's guitar, the one that he gives to Monty. Is that still Bonnie's guitar? Oh God, I guess so. Okay. Bass. Dun, 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 dun. Five. Brain would say brain would say six. So I'm gonna lock it in. Da, 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 da. Is it four? Da, 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 da. I think it's five or six. Oh my god. Because I remember the. Luckily for Ryan, who guessed, I have to give everyone points here because I only said help wanted Bonnie for FNAF and Daco, and Tetrabit referred to the room. Bonnie. Which FNAF game? Oh. I was looking at OG. Okay. Can I Google how, what OG Bonnie looks like? I don't know if this breaks everything, but I swear to God. So I'm gonna get. I I would say it's fair for myself to give myself two two points also because I was looking at OG Bonnie, <laughs> and he only has four strings, like the OG Bonnie um model has only four strings. In the guitar.
I'm gonna... If Jet doesn't mind, I am going to allow myself two points for that because Bro did not specify in the, like, context and he gave, he gave everyone also two points, so it, we're at 39. Just so we're on an even playing field here, because I didn't know every one of them has different amounts of strings. Wait, a game can do- Oh, it's AR. Should we play it live? Yes. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which FNAF game can dox you if you play it live? AR. Jeez. <laughs> like, That's what? everyone's reaction until they see AR. That's, that's got to be AR. There's no way it's not AR. Hopefully not Freddy in Space 2. AR, because like the map, right? If that's how I suppose I'd think. Okay, after the quiz, you need to tell me which one so I don't ever play it. Well, I'm... Oh, wait, wait, of course. <laughs> it's like, Fury's Rage can dox me? Oh, I, okay. was, I was thinking, like, there's no way these guys don't know this one. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't read the answers. I was just scared about being doxed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how viable it is to narrow down someone's address via this little map, but looking at mine, it is concerningly accurate. What is the name the keypad gives you when you try to type in your name? What is the name the keypad gives you when you try to type your name in this location? No, wait, I remember this. X -Ben. Yeah, it's X Ben. Fit none of these hell. None of these other ones that give any sense. It's X Benedict. It's X Benedict, right? It has to be, yeah. X Benedict. Okay, I thought it was going to be the, the butter. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if raw tofu or avocado toast were going to fool anyone. Yeah. Welcome to the halfway point in the quiz. Oh. Let's check. We're at 41 points, by the way. In with our contestants. At this point, a perfect score would be 50. But we all know that everyone has had some bumps in the road. It seems our four contestants have paired off in competition with each other. 8-Bit Ryan and Tetrabit sit... Holy shit, I'm at a 10 point lead. <laughs> oh my god, am I. Do I actually have. Do I actually have that much fucking FNAF knowledge to be fucking 41? Is it just one point apart? With Tetrabit having that slight edge with 31 out of 50 so far. Now, with the other two contestants. Oh no, uh, that was only the other two. Um, we are at level with Daco and a 43 F. and 41 are both mighty impressive scores. But at our halfway point, it is Daco who leads the pack. With yeah, 43, I'm two points behind Daco. Only seven possible points so far. John's not far behind, however, and just one question could be the difference in the next 25 questions. Two pairs of rivals. Who will come out on top? For Ryan and Tetrabit, pride and bragging rights are on the line. For John and Daco, a wish granted by their house. Who will rise up? Who will fumble? Find out as we enter our. Image doesn't create the name, but more so explains gameplay. Dark bites sleep. Second half. Of the Splig quiz. <laughs> Splig which game quiz. is this? Image does. Oh, which game is this? Dark Bite Sleep. Is this FNAF 4? Because none of the other ones. Oh, yeah, it's FNAF 4, because the other ones don't make any sense. None of the other games you sleep in. You don't go EP in the other place. What? So the, by the, the way, what is play. Blink? Dark, cry, sleep. <laughs> Charlie bit me. <laughs> cry that's yourself. To sleep. Like, <laughs> cry yourself to sleep in the dark. Uh, that's just sad. Old school YouTube stuff. It's darkness plus a baby plus <laughs> sleep. So I think of FNAF 4. By the voice is FNAF 4. <laughs> this is not the voice. And then it, dream theory or sleep in bed. And then I think of Ruin, where you have to disable all of the wet floor signs and you hear the baby crying. And when you disable them, they go to sleep. Wow, but... that is the most theorist way of looking into this. <laughs> <laughs> well, sleep. What games do you sleep in? No, by the... Oh, right. I should probably set that up at some point. Most of them, but... 
that's like off. That's not part of the gameplay. Sleep. I'm, it's, I'm just gonna throw out that it's gonna be FNAF four. It has to way be. simpler than that. Man. I know. Okay, it's FNAF four. But what about the baby? What about the baby? We'll have what to did talk you about mean that by later. that? You know, what mm, baby. I can't explain it to you. Sleeping comfortably. Comfortably. Mm, yes. Which game do you sleep comfortably? I uh, you know, I don't know if you sleep comfortably, but. <laughs> Go that for because you're a child and it's dark and you have a flashlight and you end up sleeping. Oh no, you're making me overthink it with that picture of that baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the baby's a real killer. John, what's the baby doing? It's biting. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Great. Fairly straightforward. As long as you can stop yourself from driving <laughs> headfirst into baby-related rabbit holes. <laughs> Dark game, fight, bed. Which is your favorite cam in FNAF 3? Huh? Huh? Alright, take a sh There is only one wrong answer. Which is your favorite cam in FNAF 3? I don't... Th is there a cam 10? Cam 2 there is, there is a Cam 6, and I believe there's a Cam 5, but I don't think there's a Cam 10. I would, I'm would, i gonna say... I'm gonna go with a confident I like Cam 2. Shot in the dark? Five's calling out to me. Okay, well I always pick Cam 10, so... I'm gonna go with Cam... There's only one wrong answer. Uh... Uh. Uh. Oh no, wait, Cam 2, isn't it like all the way at the end? I want to change my answer to Cam 5. I'm 10. What? Because I don't understand. If, you have a If favorite. you've tried to play the game Deathless, there is a clear outlier among these cams. Okay, well that context would have been nice. Yep, no problem. Um <laughs> Cam 10 is like the OP one, right? Because that's when you you keep him locked at the back. You would think? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 10. Oh, I'm like, yeah. You're either shaking your head or nodding right now. I can't see, but I hope it's... I uh, hope you're nodding. Cam 5. That sounds very familiar. So I'm just going to say Cam 5. I actually meant to use Cam 7 as an outlier because it has the cheek of Phantom on the arcade machine. Oh. But 2, 5, and 10 are definitely the best cams to stall Springtrap at. Oh my god, I picked 5. I was so like... Huh? Where's Cam 2? Oh, yeah. No, Cam 2 is that one. Yeah, no, I should have. I like Cam 2. 45. So any of those three answers are correct. What's in Cam 6? No, what actually is on Cam 6? Or is that the Chica Phantom? I don't remember. Is it possible to get every ending in one playthrough if you repeat Saturday? Is it possible to get every ending in one playthrough if you allow yourself to replay Saturday? What? Clowning around. No, it is not. You cannot get, um, bankruptcy. You cannot get bankruptcy, so it is a no. If you die, then Lefty quickscopes you. Hmm. Effectively the same as saying no. Okay. That is difficult. That makes me think maybe C is accurate with this one. <laughs> <laughs> if you <laughs> die, then Lefty yeah, quickscopes you. He, he, he figures it out. Yeah. I feel like Bro quickscopes you, comes to you, and then just shushes you. Just comes to you like... And then just walks away. Anyway. Yes, because I believe you made a video about that. But was it successful? Perhaps not. No, I, I mean, I felt like you've played multiple times in your video, so I'm going to say no and hope I'm right again. No, it's not. There's an ending where you don't salvage any of the animatronics and you just throw them out. All right. So that's a no. If there's an ending where you can't salvage any of the animatronic, but then again, they could slip in. And then obviously insanity ending, lawsuit... I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, it's only bankruptcy that's. This one is very much in reference to my video, in which I was able to get five out of these six endings this way, including the lazy ending. 
The only one that made it impossible was bankruptcy. Yeah. It's bankruptcy. Because you can't get sued after Saturday night, and getting sued also deletes your save. How many unique times... Can you encounter map bot? Can you encounter map bot in security breach? Half and points for... Oh, that's this is not that evil of a one. Is it... Half points for one off. Uh, it's two or three. It's you don't encounter him only once. I'm gonna say three. Map what? The jump scares you before Vanessa jump scares you. I think it is. I don't think I found any more, but if there is any more, it's somewhere that I haven't played through yet. So let's go with three. There is a fourth time that one the the fire escape ending or the VIP ending or something. Oh. The fire escape ending, where Mapbot lands on the windshield of your van. Do you count that one? Number two or three. I mean, at one point if I'm off, so... I'm gonna go with three. Do you ask count that one? Look at the question and ask yourself if I count it. How many unique times can you encounter Mapbot in Security Breach? Take a map or take an eternal map. Half points for one... I, I, I would say, yeah, you probably count that Is one. Is it an encounter? Does he show up on the screen? He he, the map bot is on the screen in that moment. Okay, okay, okay. We're saying four. And then after that, I don't know. I'm gonna say three because if it's half a point for one off, if it's like four yeah. or two, I get the half a point. Yeah, so that is for safe. One for the first map, two for the Vanessa catch, three for the Endos map, and a tricky four where. He Holy shit! You actually count? Okay. And this is difficult for me because I have not unlocked. I have not even seen all of these ending anima animations, so no. You hit him with a van. Which animatronic is this? That's L chip. Yeah, I believe that's L chip. The pick is terrible. Yeah, because none of the other ones use anything like that. It's L chip. Dude, that's <laughs> right away. John sure. spent 15 minutes on this question. Really? Holy moly. What am I looking at? This looks like poop. <laughs> like, this looks <laughs> like logs of poop. So that's I, lo I love this that's song, because this, this song that's playing here is like, was at least some point in a lot of Markiplier videos, and it's just like... That is Did a... you change the colors in this image? No. That would be cruel. Uh, no, I don't know what to say here. Alright, uh, I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay. Beaver. Why does that not help me? Oh wait, no, it's uh, what's his name? Let's see, it's even though I don't remember seeing him holding a guitar, but I don't think no anything else will be too too out there for me. Al, I'm just gonna put Al and let's see if the rest comes to me. <laughs> Al, it begins with a C. Oh man, you are on fire. Al, Al, Ch Al Chip, is it Al Chip? <laughs> Al Chipper? Chip El Chip, more like El Shit. Anyway, I'll just continue watching the video now. Oh no. I'm gonna say old chip. I think that's wrong. Oh man. Rethinking it, yeah. overthinking it. He was thinking it was uh, Pink it... Patch. Pink Patch? I was, I was thinking in my head, like, dude, Pink Patch is pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I instantly recognized the, the fingers and the, the, yeah. the, the guitar, so. Pink Patch has a banjo, but Pink Patch doesn't look like this. Huh? I said pig patch is a pig. Very helpful. <laughs> Unless this orange isn't part of the animatronic. Ooh. Sorry, the pig is terrible. I hate you. It's um, just zoomed in. Ah, there's no way it's pig patch. Bro is pink. The, the brown fingers are throwing me off. <laughs> Bro, also comes what the mind. fuck? I don't know if he's oh. a banjo. Why are you spending so sure much time on this? Have banjos. So it's probably Pig Patch. Do I get help? No. Okay. <laughs> that picture is of the animatronic. Do you think this is hard? Or do you think I should have um, gotten this? I actually don't think this one is hard if you can think of all the characters. Oh, I can't say too much without giving it away. Once I you don't figure out the instrument that it's holding. No, I think if you can think of most animatronics in the game off the top of your head, this should be easy. While John is FNAFing, let me show you a picture of Pig Patch. <laughs> but you know, don't overthink it, John. Is this an obscure animatronic? 
No more obscure than Pig Patch, that's for sure. And like Pig Patch is almost as obscure as they come. But I feel like L Chip's more obscure than that. Um, L Chip uh, has okay. specific okay. gameplay okay. things. Oh my God, he yeah, actually got it right. The only animatronic that's this dark shade of brown is L Chip. If someone asked me, I wouldn't be able to say if he has a banjo or not either. But he's the only dark brown animatronic in the franchise. Which is the name of a sponsor you can- Uh, uh, uh let's- Okay, Freddy. <laughs> and it's a sponsor you can take- You can take for dollars. Oh, I forgot to pay the taxes. Oh, that's a good point. This is a- This time I'm gonna see Wacky Ward plays Dave's Floss, Marty's Lollies. Uh, I don't believe energy was one of them. Maxwell, no, but it was not this time. I don't believe it was some Marty's lollies, Dave's floss, Wacky Ward. I don't know. Wacky, wacky Ward paste is not Dave's floss. I'm gonna go with Dave's floss. One where they all three have a word. Switched out. Oh, that's why this is so fucking difficult. Wacky Ward is not. Marty is not. I think it's Dave's Lally, floss. Lollies, that's not one. This yeah. Time, wacky Ward. This time, energy. Dave's floss. Energy. Wacky. I don't think it's Wacky Ward. Pace. Dave's floss. I don't. I don't remember seeing these two. It's time energy, actually. <gasps> it's time energy. I don't accept the sponsors, bro. I don't. <laughs> you still see them. I feel like it would be Fist Time Energy. Like the only thing that's in the universe they can sponsor. Yeah, but then they're sponsoring themselves. Why would they pay themselves? No, I'm gonna go with Dave's floss. I don't care. I don't think it is that. I think it's Dave's floss. I'm going with Dave's floss. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Dave's floss. Sure. I think it's fist time energy. I think. I mean, wacky wall pace. That that doesn't that doesn't mm -hmm. right, right for me. I'll, I'll say fist time. I'll play it safe. I think I'm wrong. Almost guaranteed. Ah, uh, uh. got him with this one. It is wacky. Oh, it's wacky what? Ward paste. The what the fuck are the, are the other correct. ones? They are fizz time pop soda. Oh. Marty's plungers, Lally's lollies, and Flo's glossy floss. What time of? Oh, I when I saw Dave's floss, like. Plungers, Lally's lollies, and Flo's. I saw kind of like the dude with the floss. Uh. Glossy floss. What time of night does getting the head? What time of night? Oh my fucking god. Five a.m. It's near the end of the game. Five or four a.m. I believe it's five, because then it goes like five twenty-five or anything like that. Part of the game. In the original security breach, you could collect the head. And then you could like run back to a save point so yeah. you could like save when you're not supposed to be able to. 5 a.m.? I think it's 5 a.m. Oh my god, this. Is, uh, it's 4 or 5, man. I'll go with 4. It's gotta be 5. I think. I hope. Oh god. It's close to the end game. I'm gonna go. Let's go 5. It's actually kind of surprising that it is 5 a.m. Given that you. Oh yeah, it was like 5. 15 or 525 or whatever it gives you 52 All points paid and kill Roxy in an hour afterwards but yes the 5 a.m time set was how you saved in the post game for the first couple months after the game released what does Glen Freddy tell Gregory when burn trap tries to control him <laughs> stop him Scott my fast <laughs> Oh my god, he's got my fast balls. <laughs> That's that should be a fucking emote. Just he he he's got my fast balls. <clears throat> anyway. Uh stop him or help me. I can't decide which. I believe it's stop him. Um, he's coming, help me. Uh, it's it's probably he's got my fast balls. <laughs> 
I would say almost definitely. <laughs> He's. <laughs> He's got my best ball. <laughs> what is this picture I'm looking at? Is this Smash Bros? Yeah, it's Smash Bros. Ultimate. Wow. Bros. Fight. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, this looks incredible. I need to play this game. It is good. It's a good, really good campaign. I think it's He's Coming. Oh, God. He's Coming. Let's go with that. YOLO. Stop him. He says, stop him. He's got my fastballs. That's something that Raz would like put in a title. <laughs> True. So I don't think it's that one. <laughs> I feel like he would, he would, he would try and like help. So I'm gonna say he's coming. All right. Here's the line I'm talking about. It was stop him. Oh my god, I was actually correct. What was that? Oh, okay. How many games does Helpy show up during? You'll see. Count individually. Uh, what the fuck? Help on a two doesn't count. So, bro comes during, like, the first time, I believe, during Pizza Sim. Help wanted, I believe. Ultimate Custom Night, I believe. And I don't remember if he comes, like, separately. Ruined DLC. Four or five, maybe. I would probably pick four. Just, does he come during help one at any point, really? I'm gonna go four. No, but I I don't think he doesn't come during Fred Bear or like Red Bear. So Pizza Sim Ruined DLC are the two ones that he comes in. Uh Help wanted probably at some point. Or does he? No, he probably doesn't. I'm gonna pick But what about the other games I haven't played? I'm gonna pick four. It's about Pizzeria Simulator. He's doing his taxes and stuff. Yep. Not is that correct? Is that, or is that yeah, that is that one. Pizzeria Simulator, not Ultimate. Pizza Sim. Obviously he's in UCN. Yeah, he's in he's in Security Breach main base game. He's in T. Even 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 an image is in yeah. Oh, even an image. Wait, yeah, he is in Security Breach. Then ruin DLC. Is he in that one? No. Is he in Fury? No, I believe it's four. Yeah, like yeah. a cutout. Yes. Yeah, Should be zero. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Six. Help one and two doesn't count. Yep. What about FNAF AR? Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> so let's do six. Ooh, probably also I don't even think error. of. Maybe? I'm gonna go three, I think. Let's try and lock in three. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, Ryan. It's technically seven. I totally oh. forgot what AR and only John remembered, but still chose six. Oh, it's six. What the fuck? Helpy has at least made an appearance in all FNAF content since Pizza Sim. What is camera stall? I would... I would honestly, like would like you to tell me where the fuck he usually appears because i remember the four instances and that's about all specifically camera stalling during the click team also probably doesn't help that i haven't played all the games and probably haven't noticed him like in some pictures or something games staying in cams to stop enemies from moving leave your camera on a room to stop enemies in there from jumping jump scaring the player in or out of cams Entering, exiting, and re-entering the camps within one frame of closing them, gaining the ability to be in camps without losing power. Not knowing what to do when you're in camps and looking around the cool rooms. Leaving your camera on room to stop enemies in there from jump scaring the player in or out of camps. Stop enemies from moving. Leaving your camera on a room to stop enemies in there from jump scaring the player in or... Aren't these the same thing? Uh, no, because one is staying in camps and the other is doing something that takes effect in or out of camps. Entering, exiting, and re-entering. Oh, is Burr doing? 
uh, the fucking gift broccoli that you gave me. Uh, yeah, I believe actually he might be moldy currently. <laughs> So yeah, pro, not, not well. Pro, bro's dying. Anyway. ...during the cams with one frame of closing them, gaining the ability to be in cams without losing power. I'm gonna say B, but this seems like... There's a lot of words there. And, yeah, I know, that's what I mean. Like, is, is it a lot of words because it's right? Because that's an actual mechanic, like a tactic? Doku, you should know this. And then again, if you haven't... Busty lefty fruit punch clown. <laughs> I have to, have to take, in, take in the, the images after. Oh, I think I did this. Because I, I remember in, in uh, Ultimate Custom Night, what you would do is you would like for the vent, you would let all of them kind of get right to the vent. Right. And then you would then you would close it, open the cams quickly, drop it open, and then you're good to go. Because yeah, they would not come in the room. That's actually uh, office stalling. So ah, okay. they can't enter because you haven't, like, you're just chilling in the office. Right. I'm going to go see. That sounds a bit more technical. I feel like that's maybe right. You know what? Let's go. I feel like it's the frame stalling. That's probably what it is. That seems like like a like a mechanic. I mean, that's what FNAF 1. It's like, how do you get rid of Freddy? You have okay. to keep your camera on the... So I'm going to click this one. Although these are pretty much the same thing. They are not. <laughs> okay, B. No, this seems right to me, because I feel like, well, specifically in UCN, mm -hmm. with the plushies, that stops them completely. But is it called camera stalling? The one frame no power is just total bullshit I made up on this. Up the homies. Yeah, it was B. So we're at 56 currently. Bot. Camera stalling is when you stall a room of animatronics by keeping your camera on them, in or out of camp. Best to use in FNAF 1 with Freddy, or UCN with the plushes. That's right! And don't you come- Which games fan is this? FNAF 2. It's FNAF 2, thank you. That's 2, I know that instantly. Nice. I know that tragic background. Oh, <laughs> that was like so instantaneous. I was like, look at a fan and I was like, oh, hey, it's two. There's the fucking hallway in the middle, like right there. And then there's the PCs like in Remember the corner. Was, I think that's one of the scariest, you know, oh, out I of FNAF. Agree. The ambience, yeah. like it kills it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just something about it. It does not sit right. right. <clears throat> FNAF 2. <laughs> um, that might be the middle window in FNAF 2. Let's go with that. This is pretty easy. Yeah, it's FNAF 2. We're at 58 points. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Also, 2 is objectively scariest FNAF game. Down with 4, it's just loud. What is a zero flame, flame frame? What is a zero frame camera flip, UCN exclusive? I mean, Open and closing cam before the first frame the cams show on screen. Opening and closing the cams of the first frame the cams show on screen. A click team buck where the cams fail to open when you flick them. And uh, opening the cams on such low FPS that you can accomplish tasks before the game moves on to the next frame and closes them. I believe it's A. Because a zero frame flip, I believe, is when you flip cams and then just close them before they can show anything. So it, like, doesn't re register probably or something. I would guess that's zero the flame. correct. I keep saying flame for free. Um, Opening the cams on such low FPS that you can accomplish <laughs> tasks before the games moves to the next frame and close them. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a brain melter. Mm -hmm. That is a bit of a brain melter. That sounds like that one short you made. Mm, was that what it was called? Right. No. That was just completing 420 mode just without, um, uh, without looking at cams because foxy where the cam fails to open when you flick them opening the cams on such low fps that you can accomplish tasks before the game that's interesting if that would be true i mean again that feels so detailed and i can kind of <laughs> also it said you see an exclusive like in the title of the first like flash screen so that also gives it away a bit because you can do that in you see figuring that out that that would probably be the right answer. Or am I just totally BSing you? Oh yeah, are you, are you just are you just babbling? The babble of eighty-seven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna still try it. Before it goes on screen, 
I mean, that makes sense because it's zero frames. There's no, nothing shows. Because like opening, closing on the first frame, wouldn't it be like the one frame flip? Because you're showing the first frame of like the static. Yeah, then it would be a first frame. frame. I'll go with A. It's probably B though. So that sounds like a zero frame flip because this would be a one frame flip. This is a zero frame flip. The whole D low FPS thing is again, just totally out of my ass. I needed a fourth option. How would you accomplish any tasks when the game isn't moving forwards in frames? How do you unlock the VIP fire ending prize counter ending and security? Okay. How do you unlock the VIP in ending? Uh, I've heard so All collectibles XP level 80. 39 non-essential collapse because I don't know where it felt like it. How many different... Uh, VIP ending isn't that like all collectibles or non-essential fucking it's not level 8 security pass I don't even know if you can get a level 8 security pass all gold plushes no I don't think it was that 39 are all collectibles I think it's all collectibles. 39 are non-essential collectors because I don't know, we felt like it sounds like. <laughs> Explanations for this for my chat. Technically, both of these are right. If you get all collectibles, you can unlock this. Uh, what is the minimum? Oh, okay. How do you unlock the VIP fire ending? Uh, you collect just a lot of crap, right? I know. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get all of them when I got the ending, so I'm gonna say that one. The bottom. Oh. I'll just give myself points off for that. I went so confidently into all collectibles except I discs. I feel like that would probably be it. I know it's either A or B, but I've I've heard equal people tell me equal things. I feel like it would be non-essential because, I mean, you're going to get the essential ones anyway. But would that also not mean all collectibles? Well, well hmm. there's more than 39 non-essential collectibles. Oh, minimum 39. Okay, I think it's that one. Both. You only need all gold plushies and you only need 39 non-essential ones. So are you saying if you go up to the door with all gold plushes, it'll open? I'm going to say this one, because you're scaring me. I'm sure it's gold plushies, so I swear I made a video about get how to get the endings, and I said all gold plushies, and it worked for me, if I remember correctly. I'll go with all gold plushies. Fun story, this question was what led me to Daco's YouTube channel for the first time. Because of chat, I had gotten all the gold plushes and couldn't get the ending, so I looked it up and saw Daco's video on it, and while this is certainly how Steel Wool intended for it to be unlocked, like how it's mentioned in the Security Breach guidebook, because of Spaghetti SB code, it ended up being 39 non-essential collectibles. I talked to Daco about this and we realized he must have gotten over 39, then very fairly attributed the ending to the golds. It's also possible that this is fixed with the small SB patch that came with Ruin. I haven't checked. <laughs> Does the unscrew ability chance- Chance of killing enemies instantly work on bosses in FNAF World, yes. Of killing enemies instantly work on bosses it does in FNAF work. World. Ooh. Unscrew. I'm gonna say yes because the other one does. I honestly didn't even know it was it would kill enemies instantly. I thought it was just like a bunch of points off, like the fourth wall. With basic enemies, at least it's uh, thirty or fifty unscrew and unscrew two. Oh, then I'm gonna say that's basic. There's no that's way, because I feel like I don't see people doing that when they're facing off like the owl thing. Right. I see people spamming like fourth wall. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say no. Does it? I feel like people try it. I'm going to say yeah. Yeah, I beat Chipper. I, the only way I, be, I, I beat Chipper was using Unscrew. Yes, it works on every enemy in 62 the game. 62 points. Don kind of got screwed over by asking about how it works normally. I tried to stress that 30% was for basic enemies because it's like 1% or lower on bosses. But it does work. Who is the fifth on lost? Okay. It's definitely... Slenderman! Slenderman <laughs> Endo Nightmare own puppet. Uh, I don't know, fucking puppet, I guess? Ah, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. The fifth. No idea. Literally no <laughs> idea. Slenderman, the ultimate crossover. I don't see the puppet and Nightmare own running around the game. Right. They got little stub feet. I'm gonna say Golden Freddy. It's the puppet then. 
for sure. Wait, play Golden Freddy's the last last one. Can you play? Can you play this? Puppy, 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 puppy. I think this is the only one I didn't play from like Scott's spin-off games. You know? Yeah, fair enough. It's uh, it was for the uh, Game Theory charity event. Who would they put? Why am I thinking in my brain that the puppy's playable? Because yes. <laughs> It's always two, like, I know it's one of the two, but then I have yeah. to guess. It keeps happening. Uh, what is the fifth unlockable character? I don't think it's Puppet. I don't think it's Endo. I'm going to say Golden Freddy. I swear the Puppet has a character. Does he have a character? Does she have a... Uh, la, 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 la. That's a good question. I'll go with Golden Freddy. What should be the Puppet? Golden Freddy would make the most sense. Mm. I'll, I'll, let's try it. Let's try it. Golden Freddy is the sixth unlockable character. You need the fifth one. I fucking guessed correctly that it was the puppet. I didn't even know Golden Freddy was a playable character. I just remember seeing Spiffy use puppet, so I was like, mm, it's probably the puppet. Puppet to get him. I know imagining the puppet as a playable character is weird, but like, Golden Freddy is much weirder, in my opinion. Which is a rare voice line in Ruin. You, this. Is this thing killed Bonnie? That was close. I was, I was almost a Cassie sandwich. Is this a fan? This a, I would say this thing killed Bonnie. This thing killed Bonnie. <laughs> actually, no. It. You don't even. I would probably just actually say Cassie sandwich, cause you never see anything killed Bonnie. It's Cassie sandwich. Maybe the the rare voice line of Gregory talking to. That's Cassie, one of them. The other yeah. one is in here. It's definitely not this is this Faz Ranch. I've heard that a bajillion times. I think it's B, because that's a, that's such a stupid reference to Resident Evil. I was almost a Cassie sandwich must play after the elevator drops. And I don't think I've heard it very often, so I'm gonna go with that one. And I believe, fun fact, I think that's a reference to like Resident Evil 1. I mean I remember that, but it's rare. I'm guessing it's this one, because this thing killed Bonnie. Well, it's definitely not B. But you're never I shown. Cassie is never right shown. I've never heard of this, heard this one. So this happens when the elevator falls when she's climbing up the sh the elevator shaft. Right. That's a rare line. I don't know. I'm gonna say this one because this one's not rare. I never I never heard that line in my life. Like I didn't know that was a thing. Unfortunately for Daco and his secret YouTuber ruin copy. The Cassie sandwich is a rare line. I only heard it. Oh, a it's here. Times during my many any percent runs. Did I hear? I might have heard her say it then. I don't remember. But that's sixty-six points. You, this thing killed Bonnie is totally made up. I, I don't think they explicitly say that Monty killed Bonnie, despite how obvious it is. Daco's hair looks different in his Ban Ban Four video today. I like it. If any of you see Daco this week in your uh, travels let him know that i like his new hair which ending is curry breach uh it gives you uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the princess quest it gives you three starts at the start of the credits no <laughs> three three starts <laughs> oh you get three, three stars 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 oh. i have to change that <laughs> uh princess quest i'm going to go with princess quest i have no fucking clue by the way <laughs> I'm, I'm the first one in the list. It's not a DS yeah, ending. From the video. <laughs> Which ending in Security Breach gives you three starts at the start of the credits? <laughs> oh, that's where the spelling error is. Thank you. <laughs> I was looking for that. This one is considered to be the canon ending, I think. Yeah, now. That is Princess Quest. The, the D is ending? Yeah, must have yeah. missed that one. <laughs> yeah, six, seven, <laughs> the D's ending. <laughs> uh, that's the Princess Quest ending. D's ending. <laughs> I mean, I haven't got that one. I, mm. I mean, it's the best ending, so I'm going to say Princess Quest. I'm not really a lore guy, but I think the Princess Quest is the one considered canon now or something. Either way, yeah, it was they've Princess been Quest. telling us that since Security Breach, I guess. Well, it's the Universal Click Team hotkey that allows you to pause. I didn't know. Oh, fuck. Control P? I'm gonna... Talking, talking about P, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back. That's the wrong...
All right, I'm back. We can continue our little reaction here. Pause, click team game. Yeah. I think it's control P. Yeah, not many people do. That is amazing for thumbnails. I didn't know this. <laughs> yeah. Control P sounds right because it's pause. I think it's control P. I'm gonna not overthink that. That sounds like a thing. Control enter. I'm gonna say control P. Why not? I don't know. Shift. You know, what? I'm gonna. I'll try it. I'll try it. Control P. Let's see what that one does. This has gotta be the only question where none of them knew the answer, but they still all got it right. Control yeah. P pauses click team games. Seventy because points. Because of the pause window that comes out, I don't know how good it would actually be for thumbnails. Yeah, just kidding. You can pull the pause menu off, so this is killer for thumbnails. Which unfinished mini game? That was cut from security breach is still cut from ruin. Well, I know there was a bowling mini. Um, uh, Monday golf secret holes, Roxy racing, arcade hockey table, bowling. Well, I would guess bowling. Mini game. Well, I mean, I guess Roxy racing wasn't a mini game, but bowling was. Yeah, would it have to be the bowling? It's a shame. I think that would have been a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I remember there was. An extra eight holes on security breach that you could play, but they added new ones in Ruin, but they are still different to the those original eight. That, sorry, nine. I think there was another extra nine. Are they? Yeah, they are different because they added like all the freaking glitchy purple stuff. Oh, that's and... true. Yeah. I would say if they released the nine holes in Ruin, that it is a complete minigame now. Okay, okay, so it's bowling then. I probably bowling. I feel like that's the most playable one. I'm gonna say bowling. All right. And if I'm wrong, that's wrong. Yep. Another game overlooks the sweet, sweet bowling mini game. Maybe in hell. Yeah, seventy two. Why is Ruins Brazil ending called that? So I didn't know this until a bunch of people told me in Wait. the comment section. Greg. Gregory goes to Brazil, it's a reference to a movie, the next game takes place in Brazil, it's just funsies, hehe. <laughs> I would guess it's a reference to a movie. The next game guys, takes place in Brazil, just sounds weird to be honest. Um, Gregory goes to Brazil also sounds a bit weird. And just for funsies, hehe, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's a movie reference. Gregory goes to Brazil. <laughs> it's a reference to a movie, I just spit. Cause I, I know I've heard people be like, why is it called that? And then everyone answers on their behalf, you know? Mm. <sighs> but it could just be for fun. I'm going to say movie. I don't know. I have no idea. It's a reference to a movie. Uh, yeah, it's a reference to a movie, apparently. I don't know how... Yeah, a movie called Brazil. In 1985, yeah, sci-fi dystopian dark comedy 74 film points. in which a character chooses a fake happy ending over facing reality. Brazil. What part of Security Breach does Steel will consider to be the Vanny boss battle? So during the boss battle... Oh, seeing her after Daker waiting over a presser blast to her room and ending... And lost and found escaping her in Chica's trash land. I would guess... Boss. Faster boss. blast? It always ends with destroying an animatronic. Right. And well, this one... Well... Not like... Not Monty. DJ Music Man. Not Moon Sun. DJ Music Man is a boss battle? Uh, I believe Steel Wool would define it as that, yes. Walking over Phaser Blast to her room and ending. They seriously can't consider that a boss battle. There's no way. Wait, how do they consider any of these a boss battle? That's why it's a funny question. If I did this a year ago, I probably would have remembered a lot more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you when you click the debug Vanny boss battle, it takes you to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the, the ending. They revealed it in one of the sets of patch notes that they considered a certain section. Like, we had a whole field day trying to figure out what they were talking about. I am mind-boggled right now. To me, boss battles are always, like, finale stuff. That's just me. Right. I, don't, I don't know the answer. I'm just trying to think logically. Mm -hmm. I'd say the ending where yeah. you have to go to Fuzzer Blast and then uh, flip the switch or get Princess Quests. I'm going to say this. this. That feels right. Maybe walking over phaser blast to a room just because all the, the guys are like possessed or something? I don't know, man. It's also escaping her in Lost and Found. It's like one of the only times you actually have to escape her. Yeah. I'll try that, I think. This was so confusing because when the game came out, Vanny was broken at her ending and didn't spawn in. So she wasn't even part of her. Oh, it is faster, but okay. 76 points.
her boss battle until a patch which mentioned fixing her pathing in her boss battle which in reality was allowing her to spawn there at all hence our confusion where are you in security breach in this picture isn't that uh, lost and found yeah i would have waited until like you yeah. showed me the options it's lost and found it's the shirts are on the ground lost and found oh hell yeah my favorite room that is the lost and found room because i was glitched there several times uh that's <laughs> a phaser blast right Banny room oh but yeah that's not that's not an answer maybe lost and found there's a lot of gadgets back there oh it could be roxy R raceway though yeah i'm gonna go roxy raceway i think uh that's lost and found i'm pretty sure then there's this here so then i'm getting mixed roxy raceway because i can see freaking oh god i can see like helmets here but i'm, I'm, I'm overthinking it it's just lost and lost found and no found. worries i'm gonna have a lost and found this is an old thumbnail of mine and only now am i realizing how deceptive this room can be the fact that it's lost and found means that there's stuff from all over in it. But it is lost and found. Which help wanted minigame is this? <laughs> so is this supposed to just ping in my- Which help wanted minigame is this? You couldn't give me, like... Any, any better. This picture is awful. No fucking clue. There's balloons. There's no balloon boy minigame. Plus trap. Two. Actually. Is it balloon boy two? I think it's balloon boy two. My brain like, <laughs> ah, yes, I know what it is. Yes. I mean... Because I'm, I'm thinking about, like, maybe D is the correct answer here so far. <laughs> the picture is awful. <laughs> oh, half points for it's, picking uh, D. It's plus two, the balloons. Half points for... Wait, it's just plus trap two. I know which minigame this is. I don't know which is, is, is it, which is it called. Well, I guess it's plus trap two then. Clicking D. <laughs> what am I looking at? Yeah, exactly. Is this a glitch? No, no, this is a screenshot from gameplay. In fact, this is what the mini game looks like, to be honest. It's quite awful. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say it's plush babies, too. I, I, I want the half point, but I also want the whole point. Yeah. Or the whole two points. Yeah. So, Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy 2. Let's see what that does. This looks like the ending game with, like, it's like glitch trap like is luring you to yeah pizza party it's not but it's, but it's not that this looks like the plush trap minigame room yeah now it's balloon boy because i remember yeah the second phase of balloon boy there's balloons everywhere balloon boy 2 so do you mean like the plush trap balloon boy minigame 2 like these are all when you flip the switch all these options are from that got it i'm gonna yeah. say balloon boy 2 all right obviously it's zoomed in but yeah during the balloon boy 2 minigame you it is Balloon Boy 2. What did Tetrabit pick, by the way? Quite awful. Oh, yeah, plus babies. Plus trap minigame room. Yeah, now it's Balloon Boy, because I remember. I'm gonna give myself a point because I know exactly what minigame that is. That is. Balloon Boy 2. <laughs> 80 yeah, points. The second phase of Balloon Boy, there's balloons everywhere. Balloon Boy 2. These are all animatronic uh, 2 minigame. You, you can't really see anything except balloons. Animatronic is this. Which animatronic is this? This gives me. Uh, ooh. Can I. Ill Chip Red, Red Puppet. Foxy from FNAF World. Or Toy Freddy. <laughs> This gives me Toy Freddy vibes. I'm gonna pick Toy Freddy. Nobody likes the plastic bear.
Because I don't think it's L chip. L chip doesn't have any any of this sort of hue. It's there's no red puppet. It's either Foxy from FNAF World, and even then he's red, so Wait, it's totally pretty. It's red setup. It is red setup. Okay. What am I seeing? <laughs> it's not booty cheeks. That's what you're thinking. I was. I thought it was for a moment. My hopes. Are, my hopes are lost. Now I'm, is is the image like rotated or something? No. That's Toy Freddy. But let me make sure. <laughs> red puppet. L chip. Ooh 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 no no <laughs> no stop. We're back. Uh, what the? <laughs> they are all like this is right side up. It's Toy Freddy, isn't it the freaking meme one of Toy Freddy? Am I? A... <laughs> <laughs> There's like a picture of Toy Freddy and he's like, sex now, <laughs> and it looks like him. <laughs> I'll show you what. Oh yeah, it is Toy Freddy, cause it's the fucking mouth. The That's a cheek. Um, oh my god. <laughs> That's what the fuck is the meme? And it looks like he's a picture of Toy Freddy and he's like, sex. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. Oh my god. What if I were to just screenshot it and send it to someone like, hmm. X now. <laughs> and it looks like him. <laughs> I'll show you what each of the zooms are based on. Um, it's not sex. <laughs> Maybe it's Toy Freddy? Could also be our chip. I feel like, feel like that would be a nice one to just throw in there again as like an extra one. I'm gonna go Toy Freddy. I think it has to be. Go with L chip. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it looked like Toy Freddy! You've done too many meme reviews. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, this is L chip. This is L chip. Because you see the little the little tooth right there. Immediately I feel like everyone would be like, oh Toy Freddy. This is L chip. Red Is it? Why is it so light? Puppy I've never heard of. Can I ask? Yeah. Is this an image? Is this an official image or is it a meme picture or something? Uh, it must be. No, it is Toy Freddy. Oh my god. Okay. No, it's Toy Freddy because I swear L chip's darker than that. Yeah, that's oh, that was Freddy. my thought process too. Sometimes looking at infinitesimally small. <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have written that on my script. Small details gets you ahead. 82 Sometimes points. Sometimes you think that regular old teeth are beaver teeth. L chip is quite dark, and Toy Freddy's got them rosy cheeks. Where are you in SB in this picture? That. Where are you? Uh, Monty Golf, this is Cut Content, Monty Golf Arcade Machine, Chica's Trashland. Cut Content? No fucking clue why Freddy would be like decommissioned in trash. Is Monty Golf Arcade Machine. What is happening in this picture? Yeah, it is something that you don't normally see. Which means it could be cut content. That is Monty's Golf. Wait. Oh no. I'm seeing. I'm gonna go with this is cut content because I've never seen. Why the fuck would Freddy be decommissioned in trash? You Notice know, in the top left. Which makes me think Monty's Golf is gonna be it in the arcade, just like randomly in the background, because this does not make sense any other way. So, boom, locking it in. Uh, well, why would you fuck these two? <laughs> this, because this is, this is from one of the levels that was. Wait, was it? No, it's not cut. It's not cut. It's not cut. But the image is putting me off. So, um, are you saying where are you saying this is from? Oh, this is Monty's Golf, one hundred percent in. Like the arcade or in the security breach oh, room? Oh, in the actual game. So what is it, C then? If you think it's from a golf hole, then yes, it would be C. Yeah, it's oh, C. I this guess is the, this is I was wrong. And Freddy's thrown in the trash and Monty's up front. Uh, this is the Monty Golf arcade machine. Another thumbnail of mind. This is a really hard to see spot in the last Monty Golf hole in security breach. Yeah, but holy Freddy shit. has been trashed. That's all 50 questions, but before we get to the final amount of points I have is 82. Results, let's see how they rated the quiz. Rate the quiz, be as- Oh, we're done? That was fun. Rate yeah, the quiz, be, you enjoyed it. be as harsh as you like. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm a fan. Apparently. <laughs>
<laughs> Rate the quiz. Oh, well, we're screen sharing, so I guess this quiz was... I'll close my eyes. Enlightening. You've have you definitely closed them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, okay, I'm deleting that. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna simply just say. There we go. Oh, thanks. I had lots of fun. Smiley face. Ten. That's ten. <laughs> just, now, just put in who ten. Do you think one. Was it close? Let's take a look. The pairs that we noticed in the midway point stayed together through to the end. So it's safe to say that competition is between Ryan and Tetrabit then FNAF and Daco. Starting with fourth place and 63 out of 100 points, with excellent reasoning for his answers and a lot of trust in his gut. Holy Ryan shit, I was almost spot. 20 points above a Ryan. A completely respectable finish, given it has been years since he played a lot of the games we looked at, so anyone's ability to remember fine details would be in rough shape. You can find his channel in the description, go say hi. He just finished the new Resident Evil DLC, and it was a banger. Bringing in third place, just barely beating out Ryan with 64 out of 100 points. Celebrating 10 years on YouTube is Tetrabit Gaming, who guessed excellently for the more than a couple questions he hadn't even played the games for, but absolutely knew his stuff when it came to Security Breach. His channel is in the description as well. While making this quiz, my goal was for everyone to get around 50%, but didn't expect much higher. Daco and FNAF both did much better than I expected either of them to do, given how all over the questions were. But who did better? FNAF got the 5am security breach head corrector for Daco, but Daco got the Toy Freddy zoom in, whereas John overthought his way out of it. Neither knew how to get the blacklisted, but both knew what a zero frame flip was. In the end, Daco finished with an impressive 82 out of 100. Oh. Getting almost everything right and doing way better than either of us expected. John FNAF finished with an also impressive 83 out of 100. Winning the spiff FNAF. I was so fucking close. Oh my god. I was so close. Well. Quiz YouTuber battle by just one point. In a twist of fate, if Daco hadn't gotten the rare... Why am I still in Monster? And didn't I just edit ruin, this out? He would have won. Right, stop. That was too close. I was almost a Cassie sandwich. You you literally were almost a Cassie sandwich, buddy. Congratulations to FNAF. We'll discuss your prize in a moment. I want to say again that because of how different each of these creators' content is, you can't say that one spiff quiz defines their knowledge, but I'm going to have to give myself a pat on the back for keeping 8-Bit Ryan and Tetrabit scores fairly close, because both of them do a lot outside of FNAF, and I'm glad I was able to dip into their knowledge equally. And the same goes to FNAF and Daku, who finished just so close. But now that FNAF stands on top, what does he win? As for the deal I asked him what he wanted, he laughed and said, a million dollars. So I offered him a trillion, hundred trillion, actually I didn't notice that, but he said it was too much and asked what his other options were. And so I suggested, why don't I buy you a plane ticket to come and visit me? And so that became the deal. One day in the potentially not so distant future, I'll fly John up north and be able to bully him face to face. Thank you to my contestants for joining the first ever Splig Quiz. I hope you enjoy. Please sub if you. Fun instance, best at games. If you haven't already, see you later. Yeah, I got 82. A 80 if you count the fucking. Um, however, you decide to count the fucking balloon boy thing. Um. But I was quite close to Mr. Darko there, I would say. Uh, that win well, I would say. 
Anyway, I think I am going to end stream there. I don't feel like starting to play Monster Hunter right now. Like, right now. Anyone uh, like interesting streaming? Uh, not really. Yeah, I'm just gonna end stream. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy uh, this little excursion to FNAF quizzes. Um, I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.